systems. Yeah, one is very far away, I'm guessing. Yeah, look at that shit. It's almost outside the day. There you are. Almost. Alright, then off. It's little more than a glorified ice door and has drifted inwards from Kisseroy's or Cloud or the Millennium. Its extremely elliptical orbit is ultimately unstable. Computer projections suggest it will impact the atmosphere of Gaius in a billion years. Yeah, and we should be worried about that. A lot. Gaius! It's another methane ammonia gas giant, very similar to its near twin using. Presents nearly featureless, rowing a face to the universe. Okay. Nadus lies in probably close to a red dwarf Kisseroi. This allows it to approach habitability, so it's quite frigid. It's tidally locked with a hot pole and a cold pole. Along the terminator, terminator, the temperature average is just about <laughs> freezing. On the lee side, the temperatures are well below freezing. Nadus has developed a limited nature ecology. Much of its clo clusters permanently attach around geothermal vents. There are, however, more advanced forms of life. Several anthropodal herbivore species wander back and forth across the Terminator, as they require nutrients and only both environments for sustenance. More dangerous are the omnivorous predatory species that devour the anthropods. Most animal life in Nadus has limited vision, but finely developed thermal sense. Okay, interesting. Theronax is covered by water and ammonia hydrate ices, which are constantly repaved by cryo-volcanic processes. The world size and density suggests the core contains heavier elements and retains much of the heat from its system's formation. Cryo-volcanic. That's something that seems contradictory, doesn't it? Cryo-volcanic incident. A typical methane ammonia ice giant, Osing has 37 moons of varying sizes. Chit has, yeah, one of the largest orbits a retrograde, at a retrograde, suggesting it was a planetesimal that was captured by the gas giant gravity well. The planet itself is believed to be an extra soul capture as well. So, billi millions of years before Chitness came on the scene. Evidence collected by planetary geologists suggested that Chitness was, for many centuries, a water world, heated by tidal flexing as its orbit circulated around. Ah! Using the planetary ocean once hundreds of kilometers deep must, must now be frozen solid. Some of, of uh, some have recommended drilling test bores to see if life ever developed on us in seas, but the question is considered academic. Hmm. Ah, so uh, something like a geyser or are you are you picturing something like that, but with gases instead of water? Okay, uh, uh, so move, uh, ship, move. Okay, let's go to Sa Satan. Okay, yeah, I can picture that. Burrow. It's a young bolus colony settled in defiance of the 
destroyed by Terminus Pirate Groups, really, a defiant Bolus. The pirates who can use the world themselves have suggested the Bolus hire them to protect the colony. <laughs> Uh, the Olus responded by requesting military protection from the Torian allies. Although uncomfortably hot by Bolus standards, Boro has the rare combination of high pressure and ammonia ecology. Gino Yalens call it an impact crater. A relatively recent asteroid strike within the last million years, the core of the object was partly composed of element zero. The struck at a low enough velocity that the ESO remained near the surface. Over the years, many pirates and wildcat miners have attempted to extract the ore. It is believed that the, the, the Gino debris originated in the pulsar system. A A P thirty four two hundred eleven plus nineteen. The supernova that formed the pulsar also created the red emission nebula that human spacers have unofficially named Sakura. <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> uh, Sakura Nebula. Uh, Sakura Card Captors Nebula. Oh, there is a little place here. What? That's actually... That I thought that was a sun. But it's a ma a wrestle is a massive hot Jupiter gas giant that whips around the stars are only every four and a half days. Like most planets of its type, it migrated inwards from the initial position in the system. Thought to be around 0.3. AU. Resin is one of the few close orbiting gas giants to show a marked temperature difference in its sun facing and dark side hemispheres. The atmosphere absorbs and re radiates Satan's heat too quickly for the winds to carry a heat to the dark side. There is a temperature difference over the over one hundred thousand degrees between the gas giants hot and cold poles. What an interesting planet. Uh, Anidia is a small ice body with very low density. Its mass only 4% that of Earth. It appears to be composed mainly of carbon and ice water, but over millennia it has accrued a trace of an atmosphere of krypton and xenon. While Anidia gravity is weak and no and after a cruiser could land on it safely, it has no, it's no particular reason one would want to. Pirates have been known to land to record ice for, for cracking through hydrogen and oxygen. One hour in the southern hemisphere, so called Anidian scrapes, is so frequently used for this purpose that higher albedo, raw ice, can be seen from orbit. Or high albedo, maybe. Last planet Nataisha or Nataisa. The remarkable methane uh, ammonia gas giant Natar Nataisha would be of no consequence if it weren't the only approachable gas giant in the safety system. Borough Bolus colony has set up a few automated ice cracking stations around the planet and Narhu Combine has contracted to set a helium-3 extraction facility. The construction has lagged due to the CEO's arrest in a kickback scandal that reaches to the highest levels of the Mall Ministry of the Frontier. Ah, what a lovely thing. Corruption. Only half our fuel remains. I guess we can make that whole trip yeah well, this one has a lot of planets hopefully one with an anomaly 
by Oresa with an orbital period of nearly two millennia long, the cold and distant by Oresa was actually missed in the initial Osari surface of the system, only a follow-up by mineral assay sent to Canalus by a Bolus mining concern now did it so to move them across the stars. By Oresa is a methane ammonia ice giant, circled by a retinue of deep frozen moons. Its remoteness makes it a popular drive to this discharge point for pirates working the Pylos Nebula Cluster. In the last two years, several dozen ships have disappeared while passing through the Tirada system. As Pylos is currently unclaimed by any sovereign power, Council naval operations are few and far between. Thus far, none of the pirates responsible have been apprehended. Of course not. You can hide everywhere in this fucking place. Xenios, a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Xenios has more than 80 months. That was quick. Seth. Seth is a common hydrogen helium gas giant. An abundance of sulfur in the upper atmosphere keeps it a distinct yellow striping, which we can see. Anomaly! Anomaly. Alright. Canalus is a